Hello guys, my name is Tash Lux and you're welcome to my channel. Coloring Lux can be so so exciting, but if you don't your findings to know about the advantages and disadvantages before going on ahead with it. Today I'm going to be sharing with you those advantages and disadvantages of coloring your locks or dyeing your locks as everyone knows it to be. So before we go into this video, if you're a first timer on this channel, on this channel I bring to you everything you need to know about locks, about how to keep it LD and any other thing that has to do with work. So please subscribe to this channel, turn on the bell notification to get a reminder when I post a video and please go to the end of this video to like this video and to share it with the people you know that would need this video. So now to the topic for today which is coloring your locks or as everyone calls it, dyeing your locks. No matter what is being said by locticians, by people that um, would help you dye your locks or whosoever you're going to be meeting, locks damages your hair. Um, sorry, the coloring of the locks, the dyes damages your hair. The disadvantages are more than the advantages it gives. But before I go into it, I would like to share some few things you need to note. Firstly, you need to know your hair type. You need to know your hair. When I say you need to know your hair, I mean you need to know what your hair can take in terms of um the 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 is your hair a dry hair? Is it um is it um uh uh is it you just need to know everything about your hair. You need to know what product is good for your hair. You need to know what oil uh, is better for your hair. Is it an oily hair? Is it a dry hair? So you know what to use. You know your, your hair strength and you know your hair weakness. How can you do this? Take time to know your hair. Don't just bombard your hair with products and different kind of things. Stick to one thing. If you try this one, you see that, oh, this one looks good on my hair. Just stick to that. Don't use too much and various products on your hair because doing this also tends to like if your hair has so many strengths it tends to like weaken it so this is not advisable so that way you can know your hair strength and its weaknesses aside that you need to know um the volume of things your hair can carry why i'm saying this is because some people's hair are very full some people's hair are very thick they tend to be able to take some things and you would say oh mr b dyed their hair they're not going through all these things that i am going to be discussing now so why can't i do it you and mr b you're not the same thing so you need to know what your hair can take because your uh, your hair can take it cannot take it doesn't mean somebody's hair can take it and if somebody's hair can take it doesn't mean your hair can take it also so now down into the advantage so i'm going to be discussing the advantage before we go into the disadvantage because the disadvantage is where most of the conversation is so one of the advantage is that it's so beautiful it's so so beautiful to dye your locks because it's attractive when you do so many colors rather than your natural colors which are colors like you do wine which is my color i like wine you do wine you do red you do burgundy and so many other colors it tends to make your hair pop it's attractive people see it when you style it people love it people appreciate you for it so it's it makes it tempting not to want to tint your hair it makes it so so tempting even with the disadvantage so aside that let's go into the disadvantages of it which is why i am creating this video for today so first um disadvantage about coloring your locks is it makes your hair feel dry and dull your hair becomes dry due to the chemical composition which is found in most of these dyes no matter what a loctician tells you or whosoever is going to be 
dyeing your locks for you please note that no matter the kind of dye you're using there are some amounts of chemicals in them and continuous use of these dyes tend to um these chemicals tend to have some side effects on your hair so it keeps your hair dry and it keeps it dull so some people um they can uh tint their hair and have time for it because when your hair is dry you need to continuously keep spraying your hair keep moisturizing your hair and some people don't have this time to do all these things so when they uh tint their hair or when they color their hair with the use of dye they don't do all these things and it starts showing some of these disadvantages of coloring your hair another one is it keeps your hair it opens your hair or it gives your hair or creates an avenue for your hair to be prone to break it your hair is prone to break it especially when you continuously tint your hair you tint your hair this year you tint your hair the next year into another color this opens your hair to break it your hair becomes prone to break it it tends to break it tends to thin from the root you tend to see your your the root of your hair and you see that of your sorry i keep saying hair it's actually your hair but you tend to see the root of your locks and you see some of the strands um the your locks has pulled away from the undergrowth that you have you you if you search online you can see a video or pictures of people looks that are like that sometimes it's not due to them dying it it might just be due to them not properly managing their locks or keeping it healthy it also damage protective proteins. Your locks, when you dye your locks, it damages the protective proteins in your hair. That's why I say some people, when they do it, they have time. They reserve time for their hair because they know that those chemicals are doing so many harm to their hair. So the proteins that are present in your hair, because those chemicals are taking some of them away, they tend to apply oils to their hair, um, essential oils or carrier oils they tend to moisturize their hair in order to get these proteins this nutrients back into their hair so that these nutrients can do the job which they are meant to do um in their scalp or in their hair follicles so when you dye your locks it tends to like reduce the thickness of your locks and the texture of your locks so it's not advisable to do to dye your locks because if you don't give time to it and you consecutively keep dyeing your locks it tends to reduce the thickness if your locks are meant to be big uh, they're meant to form well and the texture just changes due to the chemicals that are found in the dye it also stops your hair growth when you dye your hair and this is something that i can tell you that is true when i dyed my hair I guess two years ago or last year and this is a picture where I dyed my hair my hair was I dyed it into a wine color it was so beautiful so attractive it was lovely when I dyed my hair sometimes last year I noticed that for that period for some period of time after dyeing it uh my my hair growth stopped because i'm someone that i pay atten so much attention to my hair every little thing i'm checking my hair checking my hair so it stopped the growth of my hair for a while and after stopping it I noticed that my hair wasn't growing for some time but my brother dyed his hair more than I've dyed my hair and his hair is growing back to back and it doesn't even pay attention to his hair like moisturizer sprays and all that what am I trying to say is that is his own type of hair that is the kind of hair he has and this is my type of hair so i won't compare my type of hair to his i wouldn't say because his keeps growing and growing and growing even with the way he's dyed it then i need to continuously go and dye mine too no i wouldn't do that because i know the strength of my hair and i know its weakness that's why i said you need to know the strength of your hair and you need to know its weakness so that's the last point for the disadvantage of dyeing your hair which is it stops hair growth so that's 
the end of this video we've come to the end of it if you find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up like subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that share this video with anyone that needs it tell me what you think about coloring your locks have you colored your locks do you have a suggestion is there anything that i didn't mention that you think everyone needs to know please that's why the comment section is there for us to talk and share ideas about our locks i love you guys and see you next week when i post another video bye